That's the youngest lineup that Coventry City have ever fielded. Three teenagers, four 20-year-olds, and as the skipper, Tommy Hutchison, put it, it's the first time I've played in the youth team. There are six changes from the last time we saw Coventry against Forest, and seven from the side beaten 4-0 by Liverpool at Anfield in September. Paul Dyson keeps his place, although Jim Holton is now back after suspension, and Ian Wallace plays after missing the last four games. And among the teenagers is Mark Haightley, son of Tony Haightley, who included among his clubs both Coventry City and Liverpool. That's the Liverpool lineup of familiarity which demands respect, indeed unchanged for the 15th consecutive time. And they've now played 16 league games since they were last beaten. And as a comparison of maturity, it's worth recording that only Alan Hansen of that lineup is under 25 years old. Nice to see Joe Mercer looking so well. Coventry's polythene pipe, central heating under the pitch has done its job. It looks marvellously green, the grass still growing. Indeed, it was trained on yesterday. And on a grey afternoon, we're all set for a version of the generation game. Liverpool in their usual all red, attacking the goal to the left. Case, Neil on the first run outside him. A testing start this, here's Ray Kennedy. And the first touch for Jim Blythe, who's taken over in goal from the injured Les Seeley. It's his second consecutive game. Bobby McDonald, who made his debut for Coventry against Liverpool. Well, that was at Anfield after signing from Aston Villa. People still coming into the ground, and already we hear it's Coventry's best crowd of the season. On by Blair. And the foul by Neil on Tom English. <laughs> McDonald will find three Coventry players just inside the box, three just outside. Eight is Wallace, seven is English. Dyson has come up as well. And there is Dyson with the flick. Oh, the fine goal! And Paul Dyson. Really fine flick to put the ball wide of Clemens and into the corner. And Coventry scoring almost before they got into the match, if you see what I mean. It was a very, very quiet opening. McDonald's free kick. And the flick on by Dyson, wide of Clements, the ball landing under the stanchion. Six minutes gone, Coventry lead. And that's woken up the crowd. And I suppose at this moment, worth recalling that uh, Liverpool dropped a home point last week for Southampton. And when they drop a point at home, it's almost a crisis. It's so uncommon, is it? Gillespie, English. It's not a ground where Liverpool have had too much success. And the free kick given Coventry's way. But the last Liverpool player to score here in the league match was Kevin Keegan. Hansen gets it out. Sting taken off by the deflection from Thompson. Here this afternoon is Ken Salmon of Barnet in Hertfordshire. Johnson and Dyson. Soonis. Douglas. Marked by Gillespie. Ray Kennedy. Time to look up and try and pick out Douglas. Well out by Gary Gillespie. Chase again with the corner. And here's McDermott. Douglas didn't meet it quite as he would have liked. But a lesson there, surely, for Coventry, leaving uh, McDermott completely unmarked.
Gooding. Silvis looked up pretty hard at Gooding as he got up. It's McDermott, Neil in the inside right position, and here is Dalglish, flicked away by Dyson. It's the second time that Dalglish has been denied by a defender in front of him, flicking the ball up and over his head at the expense of a quarter. First time was by Gillespie, the second time there by Dyson. Thompson is on the near. And put in by Johnson, but a foul by Kennedy, Ray Kennedy on the goalkeeper. The referee perfectly placed to spot that. Johnson, who scored twice in the match at Anfield in September, put the ball in the net, but no doubt that the referee was right. It was a foul on Blythe by Ray Kennedy. Gillespie. Haitley. Okay, so Ray Kennedy's got forward here, number five at the bottom of the picture we just had a glimpse of. And here's Coop. On by English. Just flicked off Neil, who then held it well in the challenge. Dermott and McDonald, but the ball has gone out of play. Or had gone out of play. Nice turn by Tom English. What is far post? Hutchison just behind the play, number 11. Coop coming up to help. Square of Hutchison. And here's Haitley, and here's English. No, it's not going to count. It's not going to count. The flag up on the far side for offside. Got in behind Phil Thompson. As the ball came over from Hutchison, was met by Haitley. For a moment then, Coventry said he were in dreamland. Here's Neil. And here's Johnson. Again, didn't quite get the power, but caused the keeper to scramble. Nice down by Gooding. And English is all right this time. He's got Haitley to his left. And lovely footwork by Hansen. Here's McDonald's. And again McDonald, looking for Wallace in the middle. Hansen again in the way. Blair. And the free kick against Case. Coventry ending the half very much on the up. Tom English had one chalked off by the referee. As in the first case, rightly, I think. But they got in there with Mark Haitley. Hanson. I suppose we should record that other than the goal, now the goalkeeper has been called upon to make a save in this first period. Play on, says the referee. Hutchison, <laughs> calling for Haitley to come to the edge of the six-hour box, which he does. And Thompson gets it away. But Liverpool come off at half-time on the wrong end of a 1-0 scoreline. 
goal that Paul Dyson there in the beard on the left as we look will remember because it's the first of his senior career. Mark Haitley gets the second half underway and for the second week running Liverpool start a second half a goal down. Last week it was to Southampton and Phil Boyer and this week it's to Coventry and Paul Dyson. Ray Kennedy. Hansen. Here's McDermott. Here's Dalglish. And McDonald away from Johnson. English. English again. And he switched it well. Well, that's a great ball from Gooding to Wallace. Kennedy in with a fine tackle. It's a corner. Really fine pass by Ray Gooding that got Wallace away. And Alan Kennedy came in to make a perfectly fair and very important tackle. And Coventry City have the corner. Six up for Coventry. And it was Gillespie off the line by Terry McDermott. Here's Blair. Transfer break here for Liverpool. And Dyson, the cover man. Really does look a very solid performer, this 20-year-old. Six foot two, comes from Birmingham. Must be a foul by Phil Thompson. Lent on Haitley. encouraged by that near thing considering the possibility of a second goal I still think the Coventry are going to need one McDonald Gooding oh that's nice English was the man in the middle oh and amazingly Haitley couldn't get the final touch but what a lovely free kick Gooding was the player that all the running English was the man in the middle Gooding's cross and Haitley just couldn't get his foot to make the final touch on the far post with applause all around Highfield Road for a look, fine bit of football. Here's Johnson. Neil. Thompson. Oh dear, oh dear. Some of the crowd crying, what's it like to be outclassed? That is cheap gone mad. But uh, I must say that it's a very long time since I've seen Liverpool looking so lethargic. It's not a word that one would usually have within a million miles of them, but I think it applies this afternoon. And Haitley could have made them be two down. McDonald's. Thompson missed out, and here's Haitley. Can he make it pay? Well, he couldn't, and some credit for that goes down to Ray Clements. As Haitley seemed to be in the clear, Ray Clements came roaring out of his goal at him, and it was enough to disguise the goal from the number nine, who screwed his shot wide. supplied anything like as well as his usual still made the runs but hasn't been given the ball properly Hakeley and Thompson Soonis Alan Kennedy going outside him 
Nicely laid up for Alan Kennedy. That's a corner. Came off Tommy Hutchison, who was covering the fullback's run. And Blythe in problems, and this time it's Ray Kennedy who just couldn't get the touch on the far post. Ball coming off Hansen on the near post, across the goal. Blythe in no position to get to it, but Ray Kennedy unable to supply the finish. McDonald. English. Haitley. And he's away from Thompson. But the whistle has gone. And the crowd not happy with the referee's verdict. Because by blowing his whistle, he denied Haitley the chance of getting away. Steve Highway, as I suggested earlier, is going to come on. And Case has made his last move in the match. Steve Highway incidentally still looking for his 50th league goal been on 49 for a long time comes on Blair takes still handling forward Coventry Gooding and Hutchison and the flag up for offside but I must say Alan Kennedy seemed to have played Wallace on but the free kick has been given pretty tight one that Wallace, English, and clear offside. Hansen for Liverpool. Ray Kennedy couldn't take it. Ray Gooding did. Oh. Hutchison getting as good as he got. Still in. English calling for it far side. Blair's made a promising run. Number 10. Oh, it's a fine effort! And it hit the woodwork with Clements beaten to the wall. Fine piece of play by Andy Blair. Made the run across. Hutchison saw him and a really fine effort. Struck the woodwork high with Clements beaten. All ends up. So one teenager is replaced by one 20-year-old. There are the statistics of the afternoon. The crowd, 31,578. Best of the season. Thompson beats Phil Thompson again, and here's Wallace. Hansen. And we're now playing what time the referee is adding on for injuries and stoppages. And the one effort, pass Ray Clements. Looks like it'll be the decisive one. After six minutes, commentary deserving the applause they've been given. Liverpool by no means at their best, but Coventry really having had chances to have won the game comfortably, hung on and deserved the two points. Dyson getting the pats on the back as he goes off. And I suppose 
it might just be said that one man with a beard has done something to please another man with a beard.